one more word problems question based uh, on quadratic equation class 10 it says a shopkeeper buys some books for rupees 80 and for this says if he had four more books for the same amount that means he has the uh, same amount with him and uh, if he buys more four more books each book would cost rupees one less to find the number of books so what we can do here first we will assume that the number of or books originally he had right so let the number of books he originally have have or bought say b x so we assume this to be x now what we can see that uh, with uh, number of books that he bought x right and considering since he is spending 80 rupees so we can say that the cost of one book right cost of one book so you know that in order to get a cost of one book it is the total price divided by uh, this is the total price right he he's he's spending 80 rupees and he's buying x books then cost of one book book will be 80 over x now when he's buying four more books in that case the cost of one book in this case two case two when he's buying four more books right this is case two has to be he's still spending 80 rupees but he is getting x plus four books so this is the new price per book right this is the new price per book i can write this as new cost of one book in the second case so these are the price of one book in two cases in the first case is getting at rupees 80 over x and in the second he is getting at the rate of 80 over x plus 4. Obvious thing that this is greater here right this has a greater and the difference is on price is given as 1. So clearly we can say that according to question so this one is greater right because uh, you know the price per book is more as he is getting less number of books in rupees 80. So according to question, it is 80 over x minus 80 over x plus 4. That is the difference in price is given as 1. Once again, this is price per one book in case 1 and this is price per book in the second case. You see, there is a difference of 1 rupees and, and identifying the bigger one, which is this. It's very easy to understand because we are getting lesser number of books for the same price and we are getting more number of books for the same price. So we can say that this one is greater. So the difference, which is one. Now, what next we, we can do is to take common here. I can say we can take uh, 80 common and then reduce it. All right. So I took uh, 80 common from here. So this is 80 common taken. So it's 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 4 should give you 1. The remaining part I am doing on the other part of the screen. Now, if I take LCM inside, clearly I'll get x multiplied by x plus 4. This will be x plus 4 and minus x is equal to 1. So here, plus x and minus x get cancelled. Now, we have 80 and this is 4 over x square plus 4x is equal to 1. 
So this is 320, right? That divided by x squared plus 4x is equal to 1. By cross multiplication, we'll get x squared plus 4x is equal to 320. And then later on, we can transpose 320 on the left-hand side and write up minus 320 equal to 0. Now, the next part, we are going to factorize 320 to obtain 4. If I factorize this uh, 320, you can see 2, 160 times, 280 times, 240 times, 20 times. Yes, we got it. As you can see here, this together is how much? It's 16, right? This is 16 and this is 20. So 16 and 20, the difference is 4. So I'll factorize it like this. This is x squared plus 20x minus 16x minus 320 equal to 0. So what I did here, I split this 4x. I split this 4x into 20x minus 16x. That's the middle term factorization. Now next what we are going to do is to take x as common. If I take x common from here, we'll get x plus 20. If I take minus 16 as common, we'll get x. As you see, minus taking common sign will reverse. So finally, it is x minus 16 and x plus 20. Equating with 0, we'll get x as 16 or x as, or x as minus 20. As you know, the price of a number cannot be negative. So this should be discarded. So we got x is equal to 16. And that is what we have to find. We have to find the number of books and the number of books which we have assumed as x and whose value is 16. That's really the final answer.